Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Ma Teng Tiao Only campaign. We pick things up for episode 23 from turn 110 in the summer season of 216. So last episode, I think we ended with the attack here in Nanhai's farmland, and we can level up our strategist. Zhao Miao, looking pretty spiffy with his silver armor, and we can pick up capture rate. Even though I think that only works when he's on the front, but in the case we have a general that we want to capture, we can always switch the commanding general before the fight. So, they're going to be headed down to siege down Nanha. Well, we have to go rescue that afterward. We have them on the run. Let's see. Ma Chao is still chilling. Zhuge Liang is... Right, they were helping the siege, but they won. So now we have to reverse course because we're going to come down on the capital in Shouchun. I don't think he needs to go south. These two can be saved for this army. Zanba and them can go south. They need some time to heal as well. They will go here. Cornwall is not too... I mean, none of the generals are too healthy, so we probably want to just walk over. Unfortunately, don't have an armor piece for her. And that's all the army. In terms of... Espionage, this is the most interesting one. I'm trying to save up points to bring Zhao Yun to our side. I don't know if he's on assignment or not. He could be. But maybe we should just do this. I don't know how much defense he has. I think it's safer if we just wait one turn. It'd be a lot safer. Yeah. In case we have to give up this spy action at all. Over here, there's not much to do. I mean... I'm just waiting for him to surrender territory. He's recruiting. Oh no, coming of age. Okay, not so interesting. Diplomacy wise... Okay, I should say I finally had enough. But... Does he want to be our vassal? That's the only situation where I might let him live. No, he still has that 100 points of... Ah... <sighs> Unfortunate. Or else we can make that work. Yeah. Yes, we have to destroy you. Um, I don't think anyone's going to join us through a confederation. Like I said, Gong Sun Zan might be the only one. I don't care about Zhang Yang that much. And we do have one available trade agreement, but I think we can create something ourselves. Um, maybe in Hepu. I don't think we need to keep Hepu, it's not that strong. We can get all three pieces, Hainan is also a piece. And then, oh it's called Zhu uh, we'll get all three to a vassal. So we can probably gift it away right after we take the city, which will be very soon. I think next turn I guess. Yeah. We'll take it, install the administrator, then take the other land and trade it to them. To make them like us more. So I think that's the plan. Alright. Last bit of time and money will be invested in our commanderies. We will have a rebellion here in Jianming. And that means we should probably start sending some generals here. Alright. Wang Xiu, righteous hero. Gets along with our daughter-in-law. Dong Zhuo's widow. Perfect. We will take care of that. We have a lot of public issue, uh, public order issue because we bumped up the food situation because we don't have enough food because we inherited some big tall commanderies that we got to reduce. And we're also pumping up some of our own commanderies at the same time, which is causing a lot of issues. Um, we might rush some of these buildings very soon as well. Actually, let's get assignments out of the way. We'll do definitely needs them. I guess we'll just take this. Wait, what happened to... Uh, I think we shifted a lot of the industry assignments out to elsewhere. I mean, makes sense. Jenny makes more. No corruption here. That's good. Incheon needs commerce the most. Danyang also needs commerce and also need industry. A mix would be really good. 
If we don't have a mix, oh, they don't want to work here. Hmm. We took away one of the mixed characters. I think one of them is here. That's why we're missing one assignment. That's very awkward. Deldry has a lot of commerce. But also some corruption. Hmm. Alright, one of the boosts need to come here. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're not happy. And then we really don't have a good one. We took the good one here. We'll summon them back next turn. It was kind of wasted to not put someone out there though. Gotta be her. Surplus market. Yep. You're coming back now. We have plenty of other generals. Wow. Handan has really good red news. Lu Bu's son. Alright. They're good. Um, we got this. We're keeping it. We're going to convert it later. Most of these are converted. Occupy city, that's fine, that's fine. That's also fine. I'm gonna push it higher, but yeah, our food situation's not doing hot. Maybe we cancel this. Hmm. Cancel this one. Not a lot of buildings need our attention. Alright, this needs to come down. Or was I... Or actually, you know, we can lift it up, pop all these buildings in, and then start bringing it down. Might be worth it. Alright, Linhai, we'll think about it. That's what we're trying to do here. Okay. I mean, Lehigh has the advantage that it's ready a large, a large city, so we can do this a little bit cheaper. And then we get the spice booth quickly. Get the adjacent corruption. Short a little bit of money, but this can wait then. Because we can build this. And then start downgrading. And it'll work out perfectly. Negative two food. Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't cause any other rebellions. Oh, Poyang. Do we have an army near Poyang's capital? Not really. If we take the negative two food, what will happen is that we will get hit with loss of reserves. And if the reserve goes negative in any commandery, we lose replenishment. But somehow I don't think we will lose. I think we have reserve everywhere. Yeah, it should be okay. Like we can see we only lose you know, 10 reserve. Some commanders might not be able to take it, but it's just one turn. It will fix itself. All right, let's believe, let's continue. Oh, they actually came out to chase us. Yeah, we kind of expected this to get flooded by three armies. That's why we moved out a little bit so we can retreat. Bongfu, Song's kids in our faction, wow. Okay, first things first, I wonder what happens with Zhao Yun over here. 32. Okay, so he's doing something. 
Let's do this first. We can also check the defense at the same time. No defense. Okay. So two more turns. We slap him with that. And he leaves. That's perfect. Uh, food shortage everywhere. Okay. So what we need to do is go to one of our food commanderies or potentially a food commandery. Come on. I can rush this. Rush some food production. Okay. Food is much better. Alright, can we get the capture rate? No one has patience. Ooh. Luo Jun has patience. Oh my god, we can't reach them? They're behind the rock. Okay, that's fine. We can't win the delegate. That's not good because I can't actually fight a siege battle with a siege tower and all cavalry, so we keep sieging. Ma Teng's like, I'm really old. Too old for this. They're still sieging over here too, it's really strange. Well, we have to siege at least a turn. I don't know what they're doing. Shia! Zhang Fei is going to get a shaman soon too. Zanba doesn't need one this turn. Hmm. We can land this way. Who has the other one? Yan Yu. Where is he? Uh, I guess he can keep it. Seventy percent ambush. Yeah, going through the port is probably better. Hmm. I'll see if they come approach us. This river is kind of annoying. We have to waste a turn, but that's okay. Gonna wait for Zhuge Liang as well. We take this food. And they can all help bring down Sun Tzu next turn. They pulled most of their troops here to chase them, which leaves their Emperor's seat exposed for us. And we can do this in two phases. We're going to challenge the army outside. They're most likely going to run. And then we have to siege the city. Ideally, they don't run. And we drag the garrison outside. Please don't run. Oh, shame. If I put them to siege, he can run past the zone. Right, then we catch them, draw them in, draw them in. Take it before they can respond. 
and then we become Emperor. But then we have to siege a turn. Ah, uh, it's still very annoying. We can't draw them in. Even though we can draw them in, the city can't come help them. Then we don't need to really fight this. Because I want to chase out those guys. Hmm, there's a small problem. I want to be on this side. Alright, they're going south. Yeah, this is the right way. We have to keep sieging, right? I think we check that. Yep, unfortunate. They chase them. Alright, we haven't we haven't dealt with them yet. He's outside, which is really odd. Like I would want to fight him. He's garrisoned. But he abandons the farmland. Really confuses his maneuvers. Alright, pause it for food. They have one farmland left. We'll happily take that over. As you can see, we're lacking food. Where's the rebellion? Please don't have a gold weapon. Oh my god, more yet. Okay. We don't have patience in any of them. Does any of our generals on the bench have patience? On the bench, on the bench. Well, you would have to be like a champion or a sentinel or a strategist. She has it, but she's on assignment. Liu Zhu? Okay. Liu Zhu, you're a winner. I'm gonna flip him. He's gonna lead. Force a swap. Okay, go get them boys. Go get us more yet. Yep, Tiger. 52%. Well, we're gonna fight this manually so we don't wipe him by accident. Um, wish us luck. Alright, so this is not a give me because they do have Tigers. So we're gonna show these here. And then we're going to approach from over here, probably through that door. We do have some towers, which maybe will come in handy. I doubt it. There we go. And they saw us. Okay, that's fine. They split their force, which is all we really need. We have this. Arrows incoming. Lock it. Faster movement, ignore force penalty. We have a Binding Fury, that should help. Here comes some Brace Spear. We're not even going to charge into that. Change our mind. Ooh. Right there. Not get bogged down. I would really like to kill the tigers before they release. 
If possible. Come on, kill them before they release. They're unbreakable. They had 10. Two. One guy, one tiger left. Come on. There we go. All right, we kill the other unit, then we come back for the general. Don't get trapped on him. Move out. Alright, try to demoralize them over here. He's pretty injured. Let's wipe out the army now. We kind of need this unbreakable in case we take too much damage. Try to grab that. Eight seconds. Alright, a little bit unbreakable. Take this out, take this out. Alright. Army loss, pick it up. He's red. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. We captured it, right? Okay, good. He's gonna route. Wow, one more whack. There we go. There we go. We did it. 52% capture rate. Let's see if we can do it. And. We didn't get him. Alright, it's fine. We'll get him next turn. Maybe he summons a second general who has even better items. What we do need to do is probably recall everyone so they can come back healed. Alright, I don't think it's. I think we still have armies. Uh, we don't. We actually don't. Yeah. Okay. Then it's building time. Um, we wanted to boost surplus market here. I mean, if she's so unhappy here, maybe Danyang. Same thing. Alright, we have four food. We picked up the regional city. Now it feels like a little overkill here. It's our capital, but the food just doesn't seem like to allow us to do this. I think maybe in that case, since we do have a decent population, maybe land development is the way to go. Like, honestly, we don't need it to be this tall build, mainly to keep one of these. All right, let's build land development here. We can ease some of the food pressure. Cancel that for now. How do we not have a stay workshop? Go back to a city. Hmm. 
Why are we getting a rebellion here? Population? Dropping? Hmm. No, we need the food here. I'll just have to crush the rebellion. We don't have army slots, that's the problem. This is our biggest issue. Because it was burning, so we couldn't downgrade. Yeah, these two, three... Probably build a... Nothing. I can't, we keep this as a small city. I think it's fine. Oh, it's selling food. What a crime. Okay. Oh, we're almost there. Almost there. Two more turns, right? Because this is 15 a turn. Alright, and diplomacy, I doubt anything has changed. He's willing to peace out. Come back? Nope. We don't have to wipe you then. I think we're good. I think we're gonna become an emperor next turn. Depending on how they respond over here. Maybe I should show them that my army's here. Like I can always retreat if they chase. Like I can even pull them closer to this army. Okay, that's, that's the best we can do. Let's continue. Alright, they went to go rescue the capital, which makes sense. They brought these two armies, plus the garrison army, which has a ton of really good troops. We... would like to fight this, I think. This is our chance to wipe out most of these troops. There will be a lot of microing. These are really weak. They have quite a bit of cavalry. But we can respond with these. So let's, let's do it. Let's start battle. What's the map like? Okay, and they don't... He might have Fire Arrow. That's the only unit. No, he doesn't have it. Okay, so he has Poison Shot. He's a bandit. No, he's not a bandit. He got a title. So he probably, they probably gave him a title to make him have Poison Shot. Clerk is not a bandit trait. Anyways, we should be okay. Let's fight this. Alright, so this is pretty much Lady Feng's last stand. Our armies are coming from one direction, their armies are coming from one direction. And we have deployables, which is great. We're just going to deploy them kind of scattered in the middle here. We're going to pull everyone back. Going to be a lot of kiting. And we have to be efficient with our ammo as well. Alright, our first goal is to wipe out the enemy cavalry. We're gonna divide up the army kinda like this. 
and we'll take away fire at will for a second just to be efficient with our ammo. We have some really strong generals. Wei Yan can be the duelist. He has nasty of steel and a very strong ability in reckless strike. So we'll go look for a duel. We'll go together. They should be spread out. Their generals and their cavalry should be trying to search for us, I think. I really hope the city garrison is their last reinforcement because that means they won't come onto the field until we start routing other troops. Oh, they're willing to duel him. Yeah, they're all over there. I'm gonna get challenge and then pull the general to else, somewhere else. Yeah, I'm happy to fight any of them actually. We gotta get them before their cavalry picks us up. Challenge us, please. No, they're not. They're not willing to officially challenge us, so we have to challenge them. Okay, so the idea here is we challenge one, then we try to bounce from one to the other. As a friend. Okay, a friend buff is not too bad. We just let this fight develop because we want Tenacity of Steel to pick up. I don't need to rush anything. He has bronze weapon. Uh, not even bronze weapon. He has the, the common weapon. So our other generals here... We'll just pull back, actually. Killing him a little bit too fast. Like these cavalries would just kill us the second we kill him. There's a couple second cooldown before we can duel again. Take it, take it. Who's next? Alright, wait, I should be fine. They have 94 speed, they're the fastest ones. They will go kite. He has silver armor, but not gonna stop us. Alright, we're gonna show this force so they can actually come towards us. Don't kill him too fast, they're still all around you. Yeah. 
halfway and it's like I'm already warmed up. <laughs> Start killing archers. Carrie's gonna come on to you. Hurry up. Give me the give me the cooldown on the duel. See you later. Let's go. I mean, the last time Zilin fought the Evil, the Evil shot an arrow and Zilin backed off. This time we can have Surya shoot the Heartseeker, make him back off. If there's generals that doesn't want to duel, we can Heartseeker them. And then Defender, well, Protector of Heaven will use the Hail of Arrow to kill. Those are worthless. Yeah, I'm not even going to use this. Why use our own health when we can just kill them slowly with Nasty of Steel? If we're low health, we can burst people with this. Because I think it's 5% of current health. Units have some honor. Don't mess with us. Uh, some Z militias charging us. Can I do someone else, please? Cool down. Cool down. How long is this cool down? This is not good. First of all, why can't I mount at my horse? I don't have that button anymore. Okay, there's a general here. I want to duel him. I, I can duel him too. Alright, we got a micro. Sorry, Wei Yan, you're, you're on your own. There we go, that's what we want to see. That cooldown took forever. Charge that. Charge that. Charge that. Pull them back. We get away from them. Actually, Rapid Tiger? I thought these were Jama Jian. Never mind, these are just trash. Rapid Tiger is completely worthless. Just a joke of a elite unit. Alright, reset. Reset as bait. He has nasty steel? Okay, then we burst him. Oh, we missed! That's not good. Okay. High tenacity. It's okay. He got three, a bunch of units. Worth. Oh, don't be so angry, Ma Dai. Chill, you kill him in romance. I die, please come back. Nap out of it. Nap out of it. It's okay. It's really okay. Yeah, why don't we do this? This is just a commander. We have silver gears. 
The cavalry might actually run through this trap. Go here. They're all hidden, right? Yeah, they're all hidden. Good. Yeah, easy kill for Matat. Let's roar, demoralize everyone near us. People can actually go burn the fire, actually. I mean, it's dangerous. It's kind of not worth it, yeah. Get back on the horse and get out of there. See, Wei Yan even helped boost Oathorn damage to help kill another general. What a useful general. Right, we can actually duel him. Why don't we? We got the Oathorn bonus going on. Let's use it. Oh, he can just show up again. Pull back a little. Yeah, if they're hidden, we'll kill some archers. Cavalry's gonna bump into those. Keep moving. Let's go find the general. For the cavalry come get us. Yeah, they came out. They charged out. Nice. Pull back, pull back, pull back. We don't actually want to fight them. Actually, if it's one unit, we'll do it. Instead of letting our cavalry get into the archer's range. Gonna have to pull back. Hide away from this place. We don't actually want to fight them here. I want to kite them away from here. Yeah, we'll take that fight. Start moving. They see them, but they can't catch them. Once again, if it's one group versus three of the strongest vanguard generals in the game. We're just gonna take the fight. Might as well roar on the troops. Okay, don't chase, don't chase. Pull back. I mean, if they're not moving away, oh, there we go, they're gone. As long as they don't surround us, I'm fine. Keep moving. Go for the hill. Man, they're actually stuck in that little forest. Like, we can actually go light that up. That's gonna be a lot of casualties. Hmm, it's hard to kill. Sentinels. Okay, now we clear the hill. Oh, it's gonna be close. Not that. Can you pull it out? Yeah. 400 health. One health. Oh, he has 2.8k. Bye. Oh, we're, oh, we're done. Hmm. Here goes two of our generals. They're just not taking the towers.
Reinforcements coming in. Hot. Okay. We moved our archers all the way over there. They're not sending anyone to us, which is really weird. I want to draw out most of the other cavalry units too. They're not coming. Let me kill these. They're in a bad spot. It's hard to break through from... Do they try to surround us? I think it's better if they start shifting back, actually. And now they captured it. They still have one more general, right? We traded two of our generals for five of theirs, but they should have more. They should have one more general. That's good. That's getting a little inefficient. That's an open target. If we can hail this way, I mean, preferably before they clear the tree line, but that doesn't seem to be an option. Alright, oh, they're gone. Keep pulling back. No need to exchange shots. We got cavalry coming in. This is where the really good troops are. Hurry up, finish that. Charge out. He's dead. Come on, there we go. Let's go pick him off. One hit. He has one health. My that was close. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled him. But he he lost. It was close, but he lost. Came down to the last hit. There we go. Use the archers to charge out. Use them to increase our speed. And boost out this way. That's where he's hiding. He's actually a bandit. He has stock, I think. I can't see him on the field unless I'm close to him. Hit that. Cool. Alright, we got it off. Good. Uh, we can use this to charge out. We just bounce from him to this, to that. Over here. And we're out.
Right, let's pressure them a little bit more. Oh, that's a strong group. Most of their units are on the field now. They have no more reinforcements, so we're gonna start figuring out ways to kill them all. Right. This group is a little annoying, but that's why we have these. If they charge us, we'll cut them off. Or we pull them back. We have more cavalry. What did you guys think? Don't waste shots on him. Pull away. Pull behind them. Let them finish him. Oh, please, please crowd together. Alright, they did it. And then we come back to fire. We want to find this group. Ooh. No, 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 not getting hit by oil, oil arrows. Get back. Fight back. Swap again. Right here would be great. Perfect. Please. Don't, don't disturb us. Get away. Ugh. Angle's gone too. Pull back. Alright, they did their job. Pull back. Hold on, they need to turn on firewell again. I need to get out of my way. Come on, work. Uh, stop disrupting me. that might actually work. Hit that one. Fire. There we go. Look at the damage. Move out of the way. Wait for cooldown. Oil arrows hitting us. Too much. Gotta kite. Too many things to micro. Two, six. Yep, six is right here. Loop around. Hide back. I'm to assault. So what we want to do is have you two hit that. Hit that. Also just come here, hit that. Turn on the sword. Rotate up. Get around. There we go.
take off the range units, pull away from the pro dragons, pull out, crash into that. Not worth it. Alright. There's one range, two range left. Everyone else is dead. We will go take care of him. If I can, I'll just do that. I'm join the fun. No one's guarding her. We can't hit him because he's invisible half the time. But if we boost next to him, she can line up a shot, right? Ah, perfect. Oh, they, they're hiding in the forest. Ah, oh, sneaky, sneaky. Alright, a few of them got caught. We can play the same game we played earlier. Focus them, charge them from not the brace side. You can't be braced from every side, my friend. Math doesn't work out that way. Oh, they're done. They realize they lost. We do want to kill everyone, though. Nobody escapes this battle. Really get busy. One defender of Earth. Okay, we don't need to commit that many. Hmm, we will lost his mount. It's okay. He doesn't need to chase anymore. We got everyone. We're still chasing someone. Yeah, this was their last chance. They lost here. We take the capital next turn. Our siege weapon will be done. Delegate that battle with no defenders inside. Perfect. Well, 20 protected heaven, that's a lot. One Z militia. Twenty-eight protector heaven. Go get them. That's it. That's it. Once these die, it's over. Why don't you capture this for them? Nice. 
Alrighty. Massive battle. Did we kill off all the defenders? Oh, we caught so many. Um, Executes. I'm gonna respect the unique art and release him. Execute. Execute. Oh, Sun Tzu got vassalized. So he's gonna facilitate a peace with me? He didn't ask us. Oh, we automatically peace out because he's in the same coalition. Oh, sneaky. He's now our coalition's vassal. We can't actually finish him. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, we are going to end it here. We're going to get this done at the beginning of the next episode. We become Emperor. Mato made it. We're going to become one of the three Emperors, which will actually break our coalition, I believe. And then put us back at war with them, which is perfect. And then we'll just clean up whatever land that uh, Kingdom of Zhong has, which is not much. Rest of why not? No defenders now. Their army's spent. We just sweep in, take it, liberate this, or not liberate, um, have them cede it to us through the spy action. And then down here, we have some rebels to clean up, and we have some land to grab. Pretty easy. And then we'll be removing him, send the army, grab the capital of Cao Cao. He's no longer emperor at that point. And then we just zip our army towards the kingdom of Song. And then that's it. We don't need to take care of the rest of this. Cao Cao is losing so much land, so... He's not very strong. He even lost all of these. So I don't even know what Cao Cao is doing right now. Cao Zhang has an army here. He has one army here, but he's getting chased by them. So yeah, it does not look good for Cao Cao right now. And uh, we can easily remove him from his capital. I think Cao Cao is actually sitting there, like the character's army. It's only a level 3 settlement, so no walls, no siege. Immediate destruction. And then we just walk through our vassal's land take down the kingdom of Song, and all of this will be over. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, and see you all next time. Bye!